Uh, what I thought I would do today is, um, and I've shared this with, uh, if you were with me at Comments Sold the other night, we talked about the scissors that are new from Kimberbell. And um, we're going to, I'm going to show you a little video that actually just came out from Kimberbell uh, today. And so I'm going to show that to you so you can get a better idea of what they look like. And then I asked Laurie, our friend Laurie, who used to work at Kimberbell, she just recently retired, and she's gonna talk to us. Um, I've got a couple of videos, she, she just had surgery done. So I, I've actually got a couple of videos that she was so kind enough to do for us to talk about, especially for those of you who are lefties. She's gonna talk about that a little bit. So that's what number two is today. And then Cheryl and how do I buy a Twilight Boulevard class and get the club discount? log into your account log into your account and it will show up on at the top left hand part of the, the box okay um, shoot me an email Cheryl Ann if that didn't make any sense and I'll I'm happy to help you out all right um, <laughs> too funny D okay so let's go ahead and take a look at the deluxe embroidery scissors and tools from Kimberbell Oops. Uh oh, sorry. Let me try that again. Okay, so that is their little promo demo, promo video, I should say, of the new scissor set. Are those beautiful or what? They are so, so pretty. I just love them. So uh, they come in a beautiful little aqua tin case. And they are just so perfect for uh, machine embroidery. But I have a friend who, well, Jenny, in fact, she was talking about this the other day that she she doesn't do machine embroidery, but she is a long armor and she loves them for that too. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up a couple of videos to show you um, for my, uh, this is gonna take the place of theme number two because uh, Laurie, like I said, she was kind enough to do a short little how-to video with me from home since she couldn't be with me here at the shop today and she's uh, getting some rest. So uh, let me um, go ahead and pull up, there's two different videos and I'll show you uh, the first one right now. Okay, just give me a second to get this ready, and there we go. Hi everyone. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about this new Kimber Bell uh, tool scissor set. So this is a great, wonderful set. It's very, very well done. They've been forged by hand, and you are going to love this set. So to start with, I want to show you there are four different 
uh, tools in this set. There's nippers, there's some scissors with a really special small tip to them. And they're wonderful as regular scissors um, for nipping threads as well. And I'm gonna show you the reason why those are the way they are. And then this is really cool. These are not just tweezers, but they have tweezers with a little uh, serrated edge on one side so that it will um, be easy to unpick. And I'm gonna show you how you would use those as well as these duck bills. Now they're not just a regular duck bill. They're a really small tip but um, it's easy to get inside these little tiny curves and tight quarters, if you will. Also, I want you to notice these are larger than most normal small scissors that are this size so that you can fit your fingers in easily and grip these very well. Now, there's not a specific grip for a right or left-handed so that you can use these either with right or with left-handed. So to start with, I'm gonna demonstrate each set or each pair of, of either scissors or tools. I'm gonna to start with these nippers and I'm gonna show you with just a piece of fabric. Um, they come with a, a nice uh, covering for the tips, the blades as well. So this, these are just little nippers and you can hear them and they're serrated on the edges. So they're fabulous. And as you can see, this clips, you can hear it cutting through that fabric, super, super easy. So I would use these when you're sn snipping anywhere that's um, little detail work. And you, as you can see, I'm gonna do it in my left hand and it cuts just as easily, just as easily. So the reason why right and left work, um, I'll describe when I'm using the scissors, but it has to do with the amount of pressure that's placed on the blade at the angle that you're squeezing the um, scissors. So for example, on these scissors, I'm going to pull off the um, safety tip on the end. And as you can see, when you squeeze together, you're squeezing these blades together when you're squeezing with your right hand. Now, if you're left-handed, you would be doing the same thing. You're going to be squeezing those blades together. So it shouldn't worry, matter whether you are right or left-handed. You can see that. You can even just, I mean, it just cuts right through. That's left-handed, and here's right-handed. I'm gonna have to get some more fabric. But you can see, either hand works wonderful with this. Now, I'm gonna show you this wonderful little tool. I love these tweezers, and they do have a sharp blade on the ends or along the sides of this. Now, the purpose for this, and I've got this cute little, um, pennant that I'm going to show you. So you unpick or you unpick these basting stitches. So the purpose of that is you just slide this in and you flip it and it just cuts it um, because of the serrated edge. It just cuts it. So that's if you're right-handed, you can just slip it through, but it's also on the other side. So if you're left-handed, you can do the same exact thing. And you can see how easy that is um, to unpick. Now, another wonderful tool that these work for is nipping in between words. I'm gonna try this one here. So this one right here, as you can see, there's these little tiny threads that get um, in between some of these words. So you can do two ways. You can use, see these tweezers? Look how it's holding really, really well. They've got a wonderful tip. And then you use these very sharp little scissors and you, you can nip the, um, the thread on either side and pull that thread right off and it nips it right close. Even where it's super, super tight, that again is where you can actually slide this through and it just, you slide it right underneath that um, thread and you just flip this sideways and it trims it as well, you can see that. Like I just been barely sliding this through and it's just cutting it. I don't know if you can see that from this little tiny, because these are really, really tiny. I'm gonna get this a little bit closer. So as you can see, I've got it through here and you just simply turn it on its side where this blade is right here and you just pull and it cuts that thread. It's These are wonderful. Okay, so that was her first video and then she got cut off. 
So then she shared with me this video. Let's, oops, let's see. Nope, I don't want that. There we go. Let me bring up a different one. Isn't it great? I thought that was really sweet of her to do this for me. Now she's a lefty and so that's why I said, Laurie, you're a left-hander, you know, let, help me out. Tell me how this is for lefties as well. And so she did, which was awesome. And so again, she's at home right now. So she pre-recorded these videos for me. So let's take a look at the second half. Hi everyone. So this is a part two of the series of the Kimber Bell scissor set. And as you can see now, I've pulled out both the tweezer and these special scissors that have the sharp point. And I'm gonna show you how I use these two tools together. So I have a couple of different um, things I'm gonna show you this on. So right here, I have this thread that's a jump thread. You can see it's a jump stitch thread. So what you do is I um, first I pull this in and I can loosen one of the sides if I want with the sharp knife or the blade on that side of the tweezers. And then what I like to do is I use my tweezers as tweezers and I pull that little thread and I nip the extra piece that's hanging out. Um, I can also use this to trim. Let's say this little piece of uh, thread is frayed. I just need to get a hold of it and then I can use that. And I love these scissors that they're the short, sharp little tiny points. They're easy to get into the little small areas and small places. All right, I'm gonna demonstrate now with my left hand because you can actually use these with either right or left. Now, as you can see, I'm gonna do this again with just the little tiny pinpoint precision trimming. So I trimmed the thread that was in between your right here, the R in the apostrophe. Um, let's find another one. Here's another little thread. There's a lot of these little jump threads that end up in between your wording, right? Your letters. So I'm just showing you that you can use your right or your left hand with these scissors and trim those threads. And that is all there is to that. Um, the next pair of scissors I want to demonstrate are this, these little duck bills. Now this is a small little duck bill at the top, but these do cut either direction. So I've got this, this is my ugly sweater. I love this, uh, my little Christmas ugly sweater. So what I wanna do is I wanna show you, if I were right-handed, you can cut on this side very easily. And of course this would be an applique piece. So that this would actually be stuck to um, your hoop most likely. So I just want to show you how easy and just look how easy that is to cut. Very easy. Now, some people like the rounded blade to be on the underneath side and they're holding their fabric. So I'm going to try to do it from this direction. So you would go this direction. And as you can see, cuts very easily. Now I'm going to place these in my left hand and I'm going to do the exact same two maneuvers I just showed you. One is with the duck bill on the underneath side and you're just coming from a different angle when you're cutting. And as you can see, it cuts just fine. And the reason for that is, I'm a little more awkward with my left than my right, even though I can cut with both, hand, both hands. But as you can see, you can cut with that blade on the underneath side or with the blade on the up, upper side, either direction, whatever angle you're working at that works best for you. And as you can see, it works just as good with my right as it does with my left. And it's because of the way the pressure in these blades are put together. Um, I was given a demonstration when these were being um, made of how it works with right or left handed. It's because when you squeeze this together with your right hand, you press because of the way your hands are in the scissors, it automatically presses these blades together, which makes the cut. When you do it with left hand, these are made so that you can do that same exact motion with your left hand. Okay, so it doesn't matter right or left. You can still cut with these. Um, you do not need a left-handed set, and that's what I love about these. Thanks so much. Okay. There we go. There we have it.
Wasn't that great? I learned a lot from Lori. I love her. Love her, love her. And I hope you enjoyed that little video of how those scissors are used, how they work, and kind of, when you think about it, I don't know if I really realized like how, uh, you know, the engineering that goes into those kinds of, of things, right? So there's a lot to it. It's more than just a pair of scissors. It, it's the, the way that they are, are designed and cut and everything is just incredible. 